what weapons are strong now and what weapons are weak? To answer that question, I'm going to rank every weapon in the game from D tier to S tier. Let's go! And if you do enjoy the video, consider liking and subscribing. I'd appreciate it a ton. So this is the tier list for my last weapons tier list video. Let's see what changes. First, the auto cannons, plasma cannons, RPGs, pulse cannons, and thermal lances. They are all D tier weapons. They are all okay early on, but I definitely would invest in them since they're garbage later on. Next is the stasis beam and it's still a D tier weapon. Its DPS is completely garbage compared to all the other weapons and its slow isn't even that good as well. Next is the gauss rifle and it's still a D tier weapon. Its DPS is also pretty garbage and it doesn't help that its highest energy variant is 10 energy. Next is the shotguns it's gone from the S tier to C tier. The shotguns used to be one of the most OP weapons in the game. Tengu shotguns used to be a super strong meta build. The shotgun 8's DPS was insane and it was higher than some 12 energy weapons like arc turrets. But now after the update its DPS isn't even close to the arc turret 12's. The shotguns are decent early on but bad other than that. Next is the long arms and they've gone from the A tier to the C tier. The long arm 12's used to have insane DPS. Its DPS used to compare with the railgun 16's. But now after the update the railguns are on another level. Docker long arms used to be a super strong before the update. It had a high skill cap but it was super strong. Now after the update it's a pretty bad build. Next is the fragment guns and it's a C tier weapon. The fragment gun 8 is definitely better than the shotgun 8. Although its range is worse than the shotguns, its DPS is better, mag is bigger, and reload is shorter. I don't think the fragment gun 8 is that good since there's no strong 16 energy mechs to put them on, but once the fragment gun 12 comes out I think they can be a strong weapon. Next the nade launchers and it's a B tier weapon. I think the nade launchers are actually not a bad weapon. They're a pretty decent control weapon. You can use them to defend the center beacon and splash anyone that comes on it. But the only problem is that their DPS is pretty bad since they don't have a legendary pilot yet. I think they could be pretty strong once a legendary pilot comes out. Next to the javelin racks and it's a B tier weapon. They're not a bad weapon but the helix racks are far better. The helix racks have much better damage and reload. The javelins have a better minimum range but the helix racks have a better maximum range. And the helix racks fire are much faster than the javelin racks. The helix racks are much more versatile than the javelin racks and I'd use them instead. Next the voltaic RPGs and they're a B tier weapon. They're actually not a bad weapon. The voltaic RPG 16 is actually pretty decent in 2v2. Their DPS is decent and their radius is decent as well. Next is all the sustained fire weapons. The carbines are still a B tier weapon. The miniguns are a B tier weapon. And the arc turrets have gone from the S tier to the B tier. In the Graviton beams have gone from the B tier to the A tier. Out of all the sustained fire weapons, I think the Graviton beams are the best. They have better DPS, max range, and optimal range than all the other weapons. And with the Graviton beams, they only have one must have weapon implant, while the other weapons have two or three must have weapon implants. With Surge Graviton beams, you can stack up Surge with three mech specific implants to make them OP. The implosion does take some time, which is a weakness for the Graviton beams, but if you use a mech like Surge, Surge that can stun enemies then it doesn't even matter. So the Graviton beams are an A tier weapon and definitely viable with Surge. For the other three they're all B tier weapons. It's up to preference which one you think is better but I think the arc turns are the best, miniguns are the second best and carbines are the worst. The miniguns take some time to shoot which is definitely a weakness for them so I think the arc turns are slightly better and the carbines have worse DPS and their accuracy is horrible so I think miniguns are better. All the sustained weapons are pretty much only good on Surge. I wouldn't recommend using these sustained weapons on any other mech. Next the missile racks and they're still an A tier weapon. Missile racks are super strong in 2v2s and 1v1s. They're completely dominating the 2v2 and 1v1 meta. With the new diesel pilot they deal crazy amounts of damage. Two missile rack 12s will deal 283,000 damage. And with back damage that becomes 567,000 damage. That's a crazy amount of damage you can one shot every mech in the game. They also have a pretty big radius of 7.5 meters so you can get back damage pretty easily. The only problem is that missile racks are only good in 2v2s and 1v1s. They're not that great in CPC and 5v5. That's why they're only an A tier weapon. 
Next to the rocket motors, and they've gone from the S tier to the A tier. The rocket motors are still a pretty strong weapon. They still deal crazy amounts of damage. One rocket motor 12 shot deals 238,000 damage, and that's excluding back damage. It's probably much more with back damage. But the rocket motors are weaker now since there's a lot of mechs that have abilities that can avoid rocket motors. Bastion can actually block rocket motors with his shield, Redeemer has his backtrack, Surge and Killshot have their dash. Aegis has his dome, and Shadow has his stealth. But rocket motors are still strong against the slower mechs. Next, the Helix Racks, and they're an A tier weapon. They're a borderline S tier weapon, but I put them in the A tier since they're fairly new. The Helix Racks are an extremely strong EM counter weapon. They deal crazy amounts of damage. One Helix Racks deals 112,000 damage. That becomes 224,000 damage with two Helix Racks. And that becomes 448,000 damage with back damage. That's a crazy amount of damage, and it's enough to one shot every mech in the game. The Helix Racks also one shot Bastion since they go over the shield and hit Bastion directly. They're also really easy to hit since they're fast and they go super high. They also have a super fast reload so you can spam them. Killshot with Helix Racks is a super meta build. I'm going to replace my Killshot with EMs in my hangar with Killshot with Helix Racks. Aegis with Helix Racks is also a pretty strong build. I think they'll definitely be an S tier weapon once people figure out how to use them. Next is the Railguns and they've gone from the A tier to the S tier. The Railguns are super strong now after the update. In some cases I think Railguns are actually better than EMs. Although EMs are better in CPC and 5v5, this is because they have way higher DPS and in CPC and 5v5 that's super important. Important? But in 2v2s and 1v1s, I think railguns are better. In 2v2s and 1v1s, precision is super important, and railguns have much better precision than the EMs. Even if only the enemy's gun is peeking out, you can shoot them with the railguns. Surge railguns is an extremely strong 2v2 and 1v1 build. It's much better than Surge EMs in 2v2s and 1v1s. And Killshot Rails, Bastion Rails, and Onyx Rails are also super strong in 2v2s and 1v1s. And in 5v5 and CPC, Gatecrasher Rails is also a super strong build. Next, the Disc Launchers, and they're still an S tier weapon. The Disc Launchers are still one of the most OP weapons in the game. They don't have that great DPS when you're dealing front damage, but their DPS is insane when you're dealing back damage. Bastion Disc is definitely the most OP build in the game. And Panther Disc is also a super strong build. The Disc Launchers are the weapon keeping the EM rifles in check. Because of the Disc Launchers, EM rifles aren't that great in 2v2s and 1v1s. They completely dominate at close and mid range. Next, the EM rifles, and they're still an S tier weapon. EM rifles are still by far the most OP weapon in the game. They deal crazy amounts of damage. An EM rifle 12 does an average of 173,000 damage per second, and an EM rifle 16 does an average of 231,000 damage per second. This becomes 347,000 damage per second for the EM rifle 12s and 462,000 damage per second with the EM rifle 16s. That's a crazy amount of damage. And they also have an extremely fast reload speed. They're definitely the most broken weapon in the game and they need a nerf. Redeemer EMs, Surge EMs, Panther EMs, Killshot EMs, and even Orion EMs are all super strong builds. At this point, EMs are a must-have weapon. If you don't have them in your hangar, you're most likely going to get wrecked. So this is the final tier list. I definitely recommend investing in the S tier weapons. I'd also definitely recommend investing in the Helix Racks. They're definitely going to be a meta weapon. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and see you guys.